Hey folks, so this is like uh, an addendum for an addendum uh, for my uh, idea for a protest. So um, I've talked a little bit about some of the, the like the red pill moments that we need to take. So if you can please go take a look at my video about um, mending race relations, because none of my ideas for a protest will work if we don't first do that. And I think that there are some fundamental things that we have to do. Uh, to start mending uh, race relations within the within our society because until we start to change the hearts and minds of citizens we'll be able to change the hearts and minds of the police and that's the most important step in all of this so we have to start that first okay and you know you hear a lot of discussions about you know things that have to happen and equality and diversity and all those sorts of things and those are all nice those are all good but until we get down to the the core of the issue, which I believe is a fundamental part of uh, human psychology that we need to address, then none of this is ever going to change, okay? There, there's evolutionary things within our biology that drive this, and until we understand it, until we root in certain things out of our language, we're not, we're, we will not make progress, okay? So please check out that video, start making the steps in your own life to make those changes. So... Um, I saw another uh, TikToker um, who was a former federal prosecutor who was talking about um, some police reform ideas and some of the things that happen in police departments and at the congressional level and at funding and the private prison systems and all this other kind of thing. And um, I would like to add that to my uh, protest and to my the demands I think we should be making for police reform, okay? So, I, I think that a good starting point would be to say that we would like to have something... Oh, and I also saw another TikToker that says there's a thing called POST, P-O-S-T. Uh, look that up. I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Um, which is supposed to be like a, like a governing body that oversees police... And, you know, if you report things to them, then they are supposed to be able to handle it. Um, seems to be pretty ineffective from what I see, but maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, if you know more about that, please do let me know. But I think that that's the sort of thing that we could start with. So, here's a Cliff Notes version of the, the protest that I am proposing. And the result that I think we should be striving for so um starting on july 4th not july 4th through 7th but beginning on july the 4th first of all just for kicks on july 4th go to all your conservative friends on facebook and wherever and post that um all countries matter <laughs> so just for fun but um I'm, I'm thinking that on july 4th we should start this protest and the protest will be that we will, anybody who is part of or a supporter of the Black Lives Movement matter, will begin on that date to boycott all major corporations. Just completely boycott all of them. Hardly anybody has any money anyway, so that's fine. But especially and particularly Walmart, Amazon, um, AT&T, the corporations, things like that, if you're feeling bold, don't pay your taxes, let the IRS know, you know, say, hey, I'm not paying any more taxes into the country, you know, um, but these are some of the sorts of the ideas that could backfire, but hey, you know what, we have to, this, this has to change, so whatever risk you're willing to take, please feel free, you know, improvise, but I do ask that at a minimum, we boycott Amazon, we boycott Walmart, we boycott all Coca-Cola products, you boycott Starbucks, you boycott um, Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King, like every single fast food joint. You just do not go to a fast food restaurant whatsoever. Let them sink, not a problem, okay? Um, anything that's a major uh, international corporation, just absolutely refuse to buy their products. And as much as you can, shop locally, which we should be doing anyway, you know, grow your own food, which you should be doing anyway. Um, do those sorts of things. Because nothing is con in Congress is going to change until we start to kick them in the wallet, right? And this protest has to go on until the changes take place. 
So it'll be indefinite. And you have to be completely strict about this too. You have to be willing to say, you know what, I'm, I'm canceling my Prime membership, I'm canceling, you know, I'm not going to Walmart, I'm not going to Sam's Club, I'm not going to Costco, I'm not going to eat fast food, I'm not going to do any of that kind of stuff um, until these changes are made. And spread it around and spread it around and spread it around, you know, so that, so that until eventually we get like the whole world saying no, until we get these changes in the United States, then like the, the whole world will go along with this, okay? And here are the demands. Um, first of all, um, Trump is not in the White House. Trump is not in the White House, okay? Um, Congress, the Senate, they need to act, they need to do something, they need to get serious about impeachment, and one of this lollygagging bullshit that they tried to pull, the more of these, like, political stunts, none of that kind of crap, okay? I guarantee you, if all of those conservative senators actually got some pressure from their lobbyists, they wouldn't have listened to Mitch McConnell at all. And that motherfucker would have been out on his ear a long time ago, okay? So, that's the first demand, is Trump is gone, right? And if they pull some bullshit and he gets reelected in November, the protest continues until that motherfucker is gone, okay? So, that's the first demand. The second demand is that we want something like the Uniform Code of Police Justice to be implemented. I talked in the other video about the Uniform Code of Military Justice that we have for military personnel because they're, they, they live a different kind of life, they are held to a higher standard, there are stricter laws and things like that, and I, I lay out how the structure of that should be. I'd like somebody smarter than me to come in and like maybe hash some of that out, but my recommendation is that until they have something like the Uniform Code of Police Justice implemented ratified, you know, accepted in all 50 states, and it's been proven to work. It's been proven to work. I don't want these people just coming in and saying, oh, hey, look, we implemented, everything's great. No. No. I want, like, a good, solid six months with good results, you know, things turning around, maybe a year, maybe two years of seeing that, you know, this is something that's actually happening and moving forward, Okay. Um, so I'm, this is a long haul protest. I'm, I'm looking at like a decade, maybe, you know, five years minimum. It's three years would be a miracle. Okay. So if we can do it in less than that, then hey, howdy, I'm game. But be prepared for at least a decade because these people are going to push back. So, um, you know, and we live for thousands of years without Amazon Prime, so whatever. Um, and these assholes are crashing the economy anyway, so it's crashing from our end, but crashing in our terms. So, um, but the other part of this, though, that this other TikToker brought up that has to be a crucial element and part of this police reform is that, um, the privatized prison system is eradicated. It is gone. There's no hint of it anywhere. It is, you know, held up as a banner of what to do wrong in a country. So um, it becomes a, a, a federal offense or something. Somebody who's smarter than me, please come up with that. But no more privatized prison systems. That has to go away. Absolutely. But along with that means that prisons then have to become um, centers of rehabilitation. Right? We follow some of the models in some of the other countries who have been doing this. There have been some great countries who have had some awesome wins doing things like this. So we need to jump on board and learn from the countries who are doing this correctly. Okay. Also, um, complete, 100%, across the board, no questions asked, no holds barred, no exceptions, no matter what, decriminalization of every single controlled substance. All of them complete no arguments no exceptions I'm not taking anything else okay um people can get into the fine print and stuff like that but that would be my absolute demand and then um that way when anyway that's a whole other thing but you probably know where i'm going with that so like i'm talking about like the portugal model something like that okay so those would be my demands 
and here's the thing. Here's what I want you to be careful with, okay? When we're putting together these demands, um, we need to be clear. We need to be specific. They need to be fairly limited. You can't do what Nancy Pelosi did because remember, Nancy Pelosi hates you, all right? She stood in front of her, you know, $40,000 refrigerator eating ice cream while there's, you know, food lines a mile long in, you know, places in the country. So fuck her too, all right? But, um, so, mm, I, I would like to add that Trump, Pelosi, and Mitch McConnell are all just gone, absolutely gone. But, like I said, you gotta, you gotta put limits on these sorts of things. So, um, but yeah, I think those would be the, the big things. And, um, if anybody else can think of something, but like I said, we have to be very, very careful because these sorts of things can grow and blossom. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, we want prison reform. Oh, we want, you know, this. Oh, we want term limits on, you know, in Washington. Oh, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want, we want. And then it just becomes like, nothing right so we have to like get together and say we want these specific things right we want uniform code of police justice implemented we want trump no sorry we want trump gone trump gone and in prison trump gone and in prison in prison rotting is where that man needs to be so that becomes the first demand Uniform Code of Police Justice, you know, implemented, and removal of the um, for-profit prison system and all the things that are associated with that, right? Those would be the three demands. And until those three demands are met and working and in place and functional, we know that they're working and not just fucking with us anymore, then until that point, we, the people of the United States, completely boycott every major international corporation. They get nothing from us. If we find that any store is linked in any way or any profit goes in any way to Walmart, they don't get shit. And it goes to Amazon, nothing. Starbucks, gone. Major international or national uh, food franchises, gone. in and out is sacred though, so don't mess with in and out <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and until that time, until all those things are done, we will not, no, no American citizen, nobody who supports or is a part of the Black Lives Movement um, will patronize any of those. And this also includes CBS, NBC, Netflix, Hulu, like all that stuff. All, all of it, which means that Stephen Colbert is going to have to put his money where his mouth is and say, you know what, I, I can't host a late show anymore because I have to, I have to support the Black Lives Movement. You tracking with me? He can go start his own thing. He starts his own YouTube channel. He's fucking Stephen Colbert. He can do whatever he wants. But all those late night shows, gone. We stop watching them completely. You know, maybe. Comedy Central will be okay. But, I don't know, maybe they're owned by a major news corporation. I don't know. We have to boycott all, like, everything. And the reason is, is because that will get the attention of the lobbyists. And that will get the attention of the senators and the congressmen. Until we stand up and start doing this, until we grow up and start acting like we the people, nothing's going to change, you know? I said in a TikTok video earlier today that at, at, during election season, we're being given a choice between um, a man-child, orange, wannabe tyrant, right? And a melted bowl of vanilla ice cream. Those are your choices for president. Which one do you want? I know which one I want. I'm going to grow the fuck up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be we the people. And okay, so we'll, we'll vote for Joe. Cool. Maybe he'll pick a decent VP and then die peacefully in his sleep and we'll have a great ceremony because he's an awesome human being and he has an absolute heart of gold, but he doesn't need to be president of the United States, okay? Because he's part of the system. But he's a far cry better than Trump. But we have to get away from this. We, ha we have to step up. Anyway, those are my ideas. 
It's just a thought. <laughs> Look at this thing in my fucking rank insignia right in the background. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to backfire. <laughs> anyway. Love ya. Bye. Pass this to people who are smarter than me, please. All right. Love you. Bye.